Good morning. So, if you don't know me, um, my name is Cynthia, and I live in Mesa, Arizona, and I make gardening videos, and I ma I'm making a new series on these chicken. We're raising chickens for meat, so this is our first time doing that, and we want to just have it on our YouTube channel to go back. We don't know if we're going to do this again, but we just wanted to try it. I also uh, make videos talking about the Word of God, so welcome to my channel. All right, today we're going to make a gardening video. It is the beginning of March, and I want to uh, rip off a sweet pea bed and plant some potatoes in it. So I'm going to take you for, I don't know, just with me to see how I do it. Okay, okay so you're going to help me? Another strawberry? Yeah. Okay, let me see if it's ready. Hold on. Caleb's little... Oh yeah, it's ready. Oops. Let's it's eat ready. It. Let's eat it. Hold it so I can cut it. It looks little Home Depot strawberries. Okay, let me go wash it. So Caleb here is gonna be my helper today, right? Okay, so here's the garden. Yeah. Okay, so be careful with those, okay? We're gonna cut the peas off for, oh, look at this one. How funny. Yeah, I'm gonna cut that off. It didn't grow like a like a full size pea. It's like one pea inside. So we'll leave that one. We're gonna cut these these ones, okay? That, that was kinda like a sucker. Yeah, so we're gonna go all around oh, look at this one. and cut all of them. And then I'm That's gonna help you, okay? Ow. The, the bed, I don't know if it's like a 100 gallon um, bed, cloth bag, and um, I grew these sweet peas, they come uh, molly, uh, magnolia sweet, and they're very pretty to look at, they're not as, oh what is that, oh, they're not as sweet as your other typical green sugar snap, because this is a type of sugar snap. The purple one, but um, this is a sugar snap too. I can't remember the varieties. Like I plant them and I forget. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm aware that this should have had trellising. I'm aware. Um, kind of did makeshift something last minute with the string, but and then I did kind of uh, try to do something with these, but the storm came and it kind of almost ripped them out. Um, and I didn't want to fill the bag all the way up because peas don't need that that much oil. It's ha it's filled halfway, so we're gonna rip this out and we're gonna put potatoes in here. With sweet peas, um, because they're nitrogen fixers, I mean that means they produce their own nitrogen. They say not to to cut the plant at the base and leave the roots in, but I'm not gonna do that because I need that soil to be loose for the potatoes. And I don't want the potatoes to have any problems trying to grow when it's full of roots down there. So I'm gonna tear that out. Okay, so I'm tearing these out. I know I put some worm compost in here, so I wonder if there's any worms left. Oh, so here, check this out. So these plants right here, hold on, let me turn you around. Okay, I don't know if you can see me, but these um, volunteer, they volunteered in this bed. I don't know what they, they're house plants, I guess. I have no idea, but I thought they were cute, so I repotted them. I did not plant these. I don't know where this seed came from. And check this out. Let me turn you around. So as I'm pulling these beds, I mean these plants, there's there's more right there. Look, you see that? And another one here. Um, there might be more in there, but I, I don't know what they are. If you know by any chance what these are, please let me know. I'm going to repot them because I think they're cute. I think they're called 
pathos or something. I do not do house plants. I just now started buying some house plants and I have no idea what they are, but they're pretty. And oops, I'm up, I'm down there. So, but either way, um, I'll show you how to repot those plants. Okay, so this just kind of last minute. Okay, so what I'm using here is just peat moss that you buy at Walmart or Home Depot and some perlite for drainage. That's all I have right now. I don't have vermiculite. Um, I'm not going to use any sort of uh, any sort of uh, amendment, any fertilizer or anything like that. What I'm more concerned, I think, for those type of plants is uh, good drainage. And so just, I don't have any pots, so I do need to go buy some pots for those plants that I just found. Um, so I'm gonna do that later today. But just to get them out of the way right now, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put a little bit more perlite because what perlite does is allows drainage of the water so that the plant's not soaking in the, uh, the roots are not soaking in the, in the pot. So let's, let's go do that. Okay. So, okay. so here are the plants. Okay. So I'm going to scoop them out around just to not disturb the roots too much. So I don't want to pull them out close to where the stem is, but around it. And then I'm going to put them here. I know, I know this is not the best pot for it, but just for the meantime, I'm going to put them here. So I'm going to dig a hole here. Okay. Just about what I think that plant would be fitting right into. Oh, it's hard to do this. It seems like these roots are very strong. Ugh. I don't, I, it would be ideal to have your scoop. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to have to do this. Hold on. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. See? Here it is. And it looks like it was getting another little one. Where are we? Here. But let me take you. There's another baby there. Right there. Okay. So here's that. I'm going to get a very, very large pot for these. But um, I'm going to go to Walmart later and probably found, find one. So I'm going to cover up all the roots. And uh, really push down on the sides and make sure there's no openings. Press down and then I'm gonna water it. And because I have been buying some indoor plant, I bought one. I have bought one indoor plant and I bought fertilizer for it. So I'm gonna be using it for this thing too, for this thing, for this plant. <laughs> so I'm gonna do the same with the other plant on this side. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, look at what I found. There's a tuber in there where this plant is growing from. It's, you know what? Oh. Let me see. Right here. Oh yeah. Careful. It is. You know what? I had been finding these little tubers in the floor around here. And I was like, what are these? You know what I thought they were? I thought that because they were orange. I thought they were turmeric. It looked like a dry turmeric root. I don't want to squish it. Wait, wait, no, don't squish it. Why? This is not turmeric, right? <laughs> I've never grown turmeric. And, and if you can see, I don't know if you can see, it looks like a, an orange tuber. And I... And this is what it came out of! No idea! Wow! Can I hold it? Can I hold it? Let's pull this one out. No, don't pull it. I just put it there. I just pulled it from there. So, uh, I'm going to show you how, how oh, to put it in the pot. There's a potato! It's not a potato! What is this? Okay, don't press it. What? Why? Because it'll die, baby. It could be a potato in it, right? No, it's not a potato. I think so. No. Let's put it back in the room so it's a little more, okay? Uh-huh. <laughs> How <laughs> he's, funny. He's booty, he's booty. How booty, funny. Booty. So, booty. do these, uh, well now I know they grow from tubers, whatever these house plants are. I don't think it's turmeric. I w it would be great if it was turmeric, but I don't think that that's what that is. How funny. 
So this was supposed to be, you know, the pulling out the, the peas, but now it turned into a treasure hunting plant video. <laughs> like I said, I'm gonna go later to Walmart and get some bigger pots for it. So I guess inside of these are tubers as well. How funny. Okay, let's get back to our sweet peas, ripping, ripping the sweet peas bed video. Okay, so we've torn most all the branches and I put them in the wheelbarrow. Here they are to be hauled. Unfortunately, I am not, I don't have a compost bin or anything like that. So I'm just here now. Let me put you down there if you can see there. I'm just gonna tear these out and see if I can find these nitrogen fixer. What, baby? Maybe it's hard to see, but these little balls, you see? It's nitrogen that the plants fix up themselves. Okay, baby, be careful. I see you. So just gonna tear all these roots out. And um, besides, potatoes don't really need too much nitrogen. They need it in the beginning, but not to produce the potatoes. So just tearing these out and I'll be right back. Something I am going to do here is use this fork thing and tear up the soil because it's, the roots are so compacted in there, I need to break it up. I'll show you when I find one, but you see there's balls of roots down there. I don't know if you can see that, but the potatoes can't grow if there's balls of roots, so we need to take these out. And just leave the dirt. Check this out. Look at this. Hey. Look at this ball right here. Come. Give me a second, baby. The potatoes can't grow on if there's this on the way. I mean, they can, but it's going to be on the way. So we need to get these out. Okay, so now that I took all the knots, you know, all the big balls of roots, we're going to add soil to this. So this is the spent soil, and you can use this spent soil again. It's depleted of nutrients and amendments, um, and you can add those back into it. Um, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to put in them. Okay, so I have a very little left of the peat moss. Okay, this is the peat moss, um, her light for drainage, um, and I'm going to add more topsoil. So we just want to add more volume to whatever is in here. And as far as amendments, I'm going to add just your general fertilizer um, and the top, light, uh, top layer of the, of the bed. And then deeper in, I'm going to put phosphate and potassium. And that's going to help the development of roots and the potatoes. And this is rock dust powder and just for micronutrients um, and elements for the soil, like calcium and magnesium, manganese, all these um, elements. So I'm going to add all this and mix it up. 
I almost forgot compost <laughs> I have compost here two bags of compost so we're really gonna the compost is gonna make a difference on the production of the potatoes They're Yukon Gold, and I know that these take a longer season, a longer time to grow. But this is what I'm going to grow six inches underground. So, six inches. Let me bring you. Okay. Six inches. You want to put it with these little things sticking up because that's the plant and about four inches of separation. Okay, so there you have it. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten plants, ten potatoes. Um, so I'm gonna cover these holes and then I'm gonna put like four inches of mulch on top. Okay, so I know I said I was going to put about four inches of mulch, but I'm going to put two inches right now. And as soon as I start seeing the leaves pop up, then I'll put more, uh, more mulch. But this is what it looks like right now. I know it's going to be a long season for Yukon Gold. It's a long, it takes a long time to grow rather than the other potato. My allergies are so bad. Saving these seeds from these plants for my next plant sale in the fall. I'll be giving away seeds. So if you're in the area, Mesa, and you come to my sale, you'll be I'll be giving you some seeds for bok choy. I have I'm gonna save some seeds for um, kale, dinosaur kale. Uh, I don't know all my plants that I'm growing, uh, cilantro. But anyways, this is what I wanted to show you today. So. Uh, I'm done here. Um, I'm just going to keep watering it and I'm going to water it with fish emulsion when the, the leaves start popping out to help with that leaf growth. And, and only then will it need um, nitrogen because fish emulsion is a nitrogen source. And after that, when the leaves are nice and developed, I'll stop doing that. And because we want potato growth, not leaf growth. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's that. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll keep you updated on this bed. See how it turns out. It's my first time, so we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.